Chapter 6 Carbon and some of its compounds. Carbon is the first element in group 4 of the periodic table. It is represented by the symbol C. With atomic number 6, it contains 6 protons and 6 electrons. Carbon is a well-known non-metallic chemical element present in all life forms. The element occurs in different forms in nature with a wide variety of physical properties and is abundantly found in the Earth's crust. Carbon exists in two forms, crystalline and amorphous. In crystalline solids, the constituent particles are arranged in a definite order. But in amorphous solids, the particles have no definite order of arrangement. Coal, cork and charcoal are amorphous forms of carbon. Diamond, graphite and fullerene are crystalline forms of carbon. Both these forms are called allotropes of carbon. Allotropes are forms of the same element which exhibit different physical properties, but with the same chemical composition. Let us now look at the crystalline forms of carbon. Diamond. Diamond is the hardest form of crystal carbon. In diamond, each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms by covalent bonds, forming a rigid three-dimensional structure. Diamond's density is 3.5 grams per cubic centimeters. Here, no electrons are available as they are all involved in bonding. Because of the absence of free electrons, diamond is a bad conductor of electricity. Diamond has a high melting point of 400 Kelvin or more. Graphite. In graphite, each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms by covalent bonds, resulting in hexagonal rings which are arranged in layers above each other. One of the carbon-carbon bonds is a double bond, and thus the valency of carbon is satisfied. Since one electron of each carbon atom in graphite is free to move about, graphite is a good conductor of electricity. The layers are held together by weak van der Waals forces. Due to its structure, graphite is not as hard as diamond and is greasy. It's gray in color and opaque with metallic luster. Graphite's density varies from 2 to 2.5 grams per cubic centimeters and melts at 1,800 Kelvin. Fullerene. Chemically, fullerenes are formed by chemical combinations of a large number of carbon atoms. The first one to be identified was C60. Fullerenes are often called bucky balls. The shape of fullerene resembles that of a soccer ball with both six member and five member rings. There are 12 five member rings and 26 member rings. In fullerene, all the carbon atoms are found to be equivalent and are connected by both single and double bonds. Chemical properties of carbon Combustion When carbon is heated, it glows red. A colorless gas is produced which reacts with calcium hydroxide to form a white precipitate. The red glow shows that the reaction produces heat. The white precipitate shows that the gas produced is carbon-4 oxide. All forms of carbon burn in oxygen to produce carbon-4 oxide. However, the temperature at which they burn varies from one allotrope to another. Reduction properties of carbon In this experiment, we shall heat together a mixture of black carbon powder 
and black copper II oxide. The gas evolved is passed into a solution of calcium hydroxide or lime water. We notice the white precipitate of calcium carbonate formed as the gas is bubbled in the lime water. This means that the gas is carbon dioxide. As the black mixture is heated, the copper two oxide is reduced to reddish brown copper by carbon, which is itself being oxidized to carbon four oxide. After the tube has been cooled, we can see the copper that has been formed at the bottom of the tube. When we pour the mixture at the end of the experiment, we can see that it is now red-brown due to the presence of copper. Similarly, carbon removes combined oxygen from zinc oxide, lead-2 oxide and iron-3 oxide. Carbon has the ability to remove combined oxygen from other metals. In these reactions, carbon is oxidized to carbon-4 oxide and the metal oxides are reduced to metals. In terms of competition for combined oxygen, carbon can be placed in the reactivity series of metal between aluminium and zinc. Thus, it reduces the oxides of all metals below it in the reactivity series. Therefore, carbon is a reducing agent. Oxidation is the addition of oxygen to a substance, while reduction is the removal of oxygen from a substance. The reducing property of carbon is used in the extraction of metals from their oxides. At temperatures above 1200 degrees Celsius, carbon reduces steam to hydrogen gas. Carbon in turn is oxidized to carbon-2 oxide. A mixture of the two gases is called water gas.